This is Jim Reed. Welcome to our English 135. I'll be team teaching the class this summer with my colleague and friend, Dr. Kate Adams. Right off the bat, I have a confession. This is the first time that we've taught this course. Although we've taught dozens of other courses online, this summer is the first time we've offered Intro to Poetry. So if there are a few bugs as we get started, please forgive us. Poetry is pure language for the sake of language. Essays, letters, books, even novels, all have communicative burdens that they must bear. There's something about poetry that connects to our very souls, to who we are as people. Early poets spoke the poems out loud. They told their tribe story, and the rhymes were there to help them remember them more easily. Over the years, poetry's changed, but that connection to our primitive, early, innermost self hasn't. Poetry can sometimes seem like a difficult riddle, but if you slow down, read it out loud, let it slowly sink in, even the most difficult poems, or those with archaic, odd language, will eventually make sense. Just a little bit of housekeeping. First of all, use the buttons on the left side of your Blackboard page to navigate your way through the course. Of course, the orientation button is important as you get started, but I think the most important button is the one that says Unit Folders. When you click on that button, you'll, go, you'll take a link to each one of the unit units that we have in this course, and there are three different units that we do in order. In those unit links, you will find uh, connections to each discussion board, to each quiz, and to each paper that you have to turn in. Those links will appear as each assignment is due. And look at course the course schedule to make sure that you stay on topic and on time. Over the course of the summer, you will do a lot of posting on the discussion boards. We want to encourage you to put time and effort into each one of your postings. Go beyond the minimal requirement, which is to respond to our topic, and then respond to two other students. Feel free to do more than that. Online courses work best when we have a vibrant community of like-minded students working through difficult texts, helping each other to come to a better understanding. Dr. Adams and I will read each of your posts, but we try to remain on the outside as much as possible. We're there to guide you, to push you in the right direction when you go off the trail. But overall, we find that as soon as we jump in, discussion usually stops. We'll be there to help you, though, and we look forward to seeing where you're going to take our class. Have a great summer, and let us know if you need any help at all.